In this video, we'll take a look at Adobe Animate's camera tool. So I have this layer scene here of uh, cities, uh, cities uh, street. And you can see uh, I have an animation going on. This car that's going down the street. There's some clouds that are being animated in the background. What I want to do is I want to zoom in on that car. And rather than having to keyframe the position of all these elements that are on separate layers, what we can do is take advantage of this camera tool. So the first thing is, to create a camera, just click on the Add Camera tool, and that will give us a camera, and then we can see we have a couple of controls. So this will allow us to zoom in, which is pretty much what we want, and then if you click on this option, it will allow you to rotate. So we don't want to do that, we just want to zoom. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the last, first of all, I have to on the camera layer, it's you animate it just like any other layer, either with keyframes and classic tweens or just doing a motion tween. So I'm just going to choose a motion tween. And I'm going to go towards uh, right about here is where I want to zoom in. So to zoom in, you just drag. If you get to the end, it'll snap back to the center. And if you need to zoom in further, you can zoom in more. So if we scroll back, take a look at what that looks like, you can see that that comes up and then we can have him go past these buildings here. So that's a basic use, but I have um, multiple layers here. So what I want to do is I want to make it look like the layers are passing us um, through space. So the way to do that is with this um, layer depth panel. So the layer depth panel shows up here. And with this layer depth panel, we can do is we can add values. So this icon right here uh, basically shows you here's the camera. This is the focal depth of the camera and here's the camera plane. So right now, every single layer that's represented here is at the zero. So what we wanna do is we wanna add values to these things to push them away from the camera so, for example, the last layer that I have here is the sky layer. So I'm going to select that layer. I'm going to choose maintain size. And then what I want to do is I want to set it to a high value, maybe 500. So that pushes it away from the camera. And then the clouds might be next. So I'm going to choose maintain size. And maybe I make those 300. Layer 1 is like kind of like the base layer with all the cities. Um, materials. So I'm going to choose that, maybe make this 200. And this left building over here, I'm going to maintain size on that. Maintain size keeps the size. If you don't do that, it'll change the way that this thing looks. Okay, and then we get into some of the other things. So now I'm going to use uh, 10 point increments. And then we can use negative values as well. So maybe this becomes 90. Oops. See how that changed? That changed the look just based on that. So I didn't click on maintain size first. So make sure you do that and then add a value. And these values are arbitrary. You don't, you can make them up. I'm just making them up here. And this one will be 80. Maintain size. Right, this one's 70. Maintain size, 60. The car should be zero, right? And then the things that are in front of the car, um, those should be negative values. But let's see what we got so far. So now if we take a look at the animation, it pretty much looks the same. I think it's because of the way everything is on and uh, the way that the layers are arranged. Um, but that that's with the maintain size option on. The other thing we can do with the camera is let's say after here I want to do a little bit of rotation just for effect. So maybe I get to this point and then I click on this option and you can either rotate this way 
We can rotate this way. So maybe I rotate this way. And maybe this becomes like a, a transition to another scene. Right? And you can see what that looks like. So if we play through this, that's what we get. And the other thing that you can do is there's a um, column here for attach all layers to or detach all layers from the camera. So for example, if I put this on the car, see that the car stays with the camera. So that's not really, really want, right? So um, you can use this uh, for, you know, like if there was, um, other elements in front here that we wanted to use, uh, we can keep them in focus on the camera. And the other thing we want to do is just to adjust this tween um, so that we have a basic tween that's going on right now. And we can see what that tween looks like and we can add easing to it. There's some uh, simple easing. And that will make it look a little better than what we had now. So if I play through that, yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, always want to add easing where you can. So that is the camera tool and animate. And have fun with that.